Hey everybody, welcome to a new installment on the channel called The Musical Pow Wow. Uh, it's a show revolving around different topics in music that we honestly just feel like talking about. I've always wanted to do some kind of music-based show on the channel. In the past, we've tried to incorporate our love for music by making it the serious topic of the month's podcast. Still, it felt as though a topic as broad as music should have its own platform from which to stand on. A topic that has been so beloved by everyone and adored the world over. Now I know what you might be thinking. You- FUCK YOU! I'm sorry? You have no idea what I'm thinking! Uh, okay, I'm sorry to have offended you. Uh, but please, tell everybody what, what you're thinking. Uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Duke of BS. I wanna know, where do you get off? What makes you qualified to talk about me about That's music? That's actually what I thought you'd ask. Fuck you! Well, I've taken piano lessons uh, when I was in fifth grade. I took orchestra throughout middle school. I'm in the process of learning guitar, teaching myself guitar, I should say. Uh, a little bit of piano, a little bit of bass, just, just whatever I could get my hands on, really. So, what does that even mean? Well, I'll tell you. What does that all mean? Absolutely nothing. I'm not talking to you as an authority on music. That is the last thing I want to be. That being said, I don't even know the prerequisites to an authority figure on music. But just as another fan with another opinion. Well, if your opinion is different than mine, it sucks dick! And you know what? You're totally allowed to have a different opinion. That's what makes the world great, Cupcake. Bite me! So without further ado, One Unpleasant Channel would like to present the Musical Pow Wow. We all listen to an artist or band that has been around for quite some time. We've continued our support for them, or have just dropped our interest in them entirely. Seems obvious enough. It's just what happens. With unique circumstances aside, the evolution of bands and artists is ultimately what keeps us coming back for more. Or what has is saying, well, it's fine. That's all fine and well. However, it is worth mentioning that there is a select group of people who don't take too kindly to change. Well, no shit! Common arguments are their sound isn't what it used to be, or uh, that album was no insert previous album name here, or their sound changed. And to that I say, yeah, of course. Artists are always looking to the next thing, to the next project that will be better than their last work. It's just part of their natural progression as people. They change not only to keep the interest of a growing audience, but to satisfy themselves as well. I mean, after all, they are the ones playing the music. Imagine if Jack White was expected to write more songs like Seven Nation Army, or if a band like AFI was expected to keep composing hardcore punk songs. Quite honestly, I don't think they'd still be around if that was the case. Each album deserves to be judged for what it is, for how it stands on its own, not in comparison to previous works. They are separate beasts that came from different points in the artist's career. Needless to say, that doesn't mean you can't have a favorite. The difference is in shooting an album down immediately, because it does not meet the standards set by your favorite album, as opposed to simply citing an aspect of the album that just didn't work for you. So for an example, we have two albums here, 19 years apart, both by the same artist. We got The Lonesome Crowded West and Strangers to Ourselves, both by Modest Mouth. Modest Mouse. On one hand, The Lonesome Crowded West offers me a heavier feel with songs like Doing the Cockroach, Cowboy Dan, and Teeth Like God Shoeshine, among others. It offers a raw feel to it that would get anybody wound up. On the other hand, Strangers to Ourselves shows just how far the band has come by incorporating new sounds. The production is much greater than that of Lonesome Crowded West, and it shows through the songs. Songs like Lampshades on Fire, Coyotes, and Sugar Boats. They lack the raw feeling from previous Modest Mouse records, but still manage to deliver songs that are so damn catchy and meaningful. All in all, I enjoy both records for two different reasons. If something worked, you don't, I don't want to just then try and rebuild that. It'll never, it'll never work out if you try, you know? Um, and so just kind of let, let things naturally happen and hope for the best. I mean, could make a terrible, terrible record with this, that approach, but at least you won't make the same record. For another example, 
I used to enjoy Black Phil Brides. Shut up. Their debut album, We Stitched These Wounds, was incredibly empowering to me at the time, and I loved every song on that album. But as time progressed, the theme of the music just didn't do it for me anymore. Even that very album is something I don't listen to very often, just kind of as a nostalgia trip. I listened a bit to the next album and enjoyed songs here and there, but haven't jumped back on the BBB train. It just goes to show you that even your preferences can change. But that's just one guy's opinion, um... AND IT SUCKS! Anyway, what do you think? Do you think albums should be judged in comparison to previous albums? Why why not? Convene with the powwow and let your voice be heard. And... I'll see you in the next one. Can I still favor an album over another? Yes. Can I shit on another album because it isn't like my favorite? No, unless you think that album is just complete garbage on its own. Are you telling me how to live my life? No. Then why does it feel like you're telling me what to do? I'm not. You're asking the questions. Well, alright then. Fuck you! If you don't want to talk about it when it isn't love